Hey there, how's it going? My name is Lindsay. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's try on haul. For this week's try on, I actually picked all of this up in store at H&M. I had another store planned, but my packages did not come in time. So I decided to just run to the mall and pick up what I could find. And I think considering this being so last minute, I found some pretty good stuff. There are a couple of items that are in store only, but I will do my best to share with you their exact name and what's on the tag. That way, if you are interested, you can go in your local store and see if they carry that item. And if any of this stuff is currently out of stock online, then H&M does have the notify me when available option. So before I get into sharing the items that I picked up from H&M with you, let me go ahead and quickly share my measurements with you. I am just under five foot four, so I am pretty short. I have a 36 double D bust. My true size in women's tops is usually a size medium, and my true size for pants is usually a medium or a 2829 or an 810. So if you have a similar body type to mine and you think that this would be helpful for you, then let's get into the try on. So for the first two outfits I'm trying on, I will be wearing the same pair of jeans and it is these straight fit high waist. They're like a cream color off white jean. Um, now, unfortunately, these are an in-store only item and there are a lot of similar jeans in the store that look like this. So I want to be clear that they do not all fit the same. Um, this one has some great stretch to it and it is part of their conscious line, which means it is made with recycled materials. Um, here is the tag. If you can read that, I think it says comfort fit or comfort stretch straight fit high waist. Uh, I picked these up in a size eight. They are $34.99. These do have a button and zip closure. Um, that was something I wanted to make clear because like I said, there are other jeans in store that look similar to this. One of them is a button fly. That is a much tighter fit. Um, like I couldn't even button the tens on those. And I got these in a size eight and I could probably go up to a 10, but they didn't have that in store for me. And I think that the eight worked well enough that I'm just gonna keep these. Uh, like I said, I am just under five foot four and these hit me at the perfect length to where I could wear sandals with these if I wanted and or I could wear heels too. So the first top I'll be sharing that I wore with those jeans is this gingham print puff sleeve open back crop top. Um, it has the cutest little bow detail in the back right here. And it also has some crossover straps. The puff sleeve goes to about your elbow and it has some stretching here on the end of this sleeve and up here over the shoulder. And it is a square neckline. Now, I want to keep this because I think it's so cute, but I can't wear a bra with this. Sometimes you can get away with stuff that you can't wear a bra with because it ends up being kind of supportive itself. Uh, that is not the case with this one. So if you can find a backless bra that works for you, or if you have a cute bralette that you wouldn't mind showing through the back, then I think that this is a really great top. I got this in a size medium and it is $24.99. The next top I have on with these jeans is this long sleeve collared top. Um, I don't really think this is a crop top exactly. I mean, it goes to about my belly button, like with the high waist jeans, the top could have gone over the jeans. Um, so it's not like, maybe it is a crop top, but it's not super duper cropped. You know what I mean? Like a lot of stuff is these days. Um, this is a rib knit. It is, this is also part of their conscious line. I just love the collar detail on this and how it goes down into this v-neck. I think it is so um, structured and professional looking while also still being really cute and flattering. This top is $14.99 and I got it in a size medium. I really love the next outfit that I'm sharing with you and it is these wide leg linen pants. Um, they do have a elastic drawstring waistband and they are pretty long, but um, I, I would still wear sandals with them. They do touch the floor, but it's not like a ridiculous amount where I'm stepping on them. Um, if you're taller, that probably won't be a problem. 
Uh, this is from their Divided line, which and it is also a conscious item. It, they seem like they would be see-through. Um, the pocket lining is see-through on these. However, I was wearing a brightly colored undergarment and I don't think you could see it through the pants themselves. The only thing is that these are kind of low to mid rise. So the back part went lower on me and maybe underwear would show like above the pant line and not necessarily through the pants. So if you were worried about that, then I'd say you'd be fine just wearing some nude undergarments. You'll be good to go. These are $17.99 and I got them in my true size medium and I was wearing them with this cropped muscle tank, which is also from the divided line and also a conscious item. Um, this is an in-store only item and it is $5.99. I sized up to a size large because I wanted this to be a really relaxed fit and I wanted the sleeve to go a little lower so that I could wear a cute bralette underneath and it would peek through. It does have the unfinished hem here. It's not frayed, but it is like a raw cut that kind of rolls up a little bit. So if you wanted a similar fit to what I had, then I would say size up. But if you wanted it to be a bit of a tighter crop top, then get your true size. The next item that I picked up is going to be the perfect little black dress option for the summertime. Um, it is this halter neckline rib knit dress. Now it is open back so you could wear a backless strapless bra with this or like I said before if you had a cute bralette that you don't mind showing through. Um, it is strappy in the back with this little bow detail. You can adjust the side length of the top here. What I really love about this dress is that it is form-fitting and sexy but also not too showy because it does go down to your knees. They also had this in a really pretty beige color that I wanted, but they didn't have it in my size. Um, I did get this in a size medium. It is also part of their conscious line, and this was only $14.99. For the last three outfits I'm sharing with you, they are all pretty trendy in their own way. One's kind of preppy, one's kind of boho, and the last one is maybe a little grungy. Um, not quite, it's like baggy jeans. But H&M is a pretty trendy store, so I guess that's to be expected. So these may not be everyone's cup of tea. They're all cute in their own right, in my opinion. So for the first one, I love the color scheme of this so much and it is this blue collared crop top with this blue floral mini skirt. These are functioning buttons on this collared top. It is ribbed. I love the details on this. It feels so well made and it's only $19.99. I got this in a size medium and I think it fit me true to size. It is part of their divided line. So you could wear this fully buttoned up or you could undo a few if you prefer that. Now this skirt, um, I wanted to love this skirt so much. I do love it so much, but it is so short. It's it's not going to be possible for me. If you don't mind that, then that's great. You, you pick it up. I cannot wear this. The slightest breeze or sneeze or whatever and my cheeks will be all the way out and I can't do that, which is a bummer because like I said, I absolutely love the color and print of this. Um, so this is, this is a high waisted mini skirt. It does have a side zipper closure and it is lined inside. This is also from their divided line. I picked this up in a size 10 and it is $12.99. Okay, this next outfit is the more boho one, um, maybe like festival type wear, I guess, if you go to things like that. And it is this lace floral top. Now, I was a little worried about this when I picked it up because I had planned on wearing a bralette underneath because as you can tell, the body part is see-through. But I realized when I got home that the cups are lined. Also, the straps are adjustable. So that was nice. I did get this in a size medium because it was the biggest size they had. I do think I would have liked it better if I had gone up to a large just so I could have a little bit more coverage up top. So this is a really pretty light neutral beige color. Um, as I said, I got it in the size medium and it is $24.99. And I paired it with these flare leg ribbed pants. Um, they are kind of like a 
almost like a dry fit material, you know, they're like that smooth, almost silky feeling. These are also from the Divided line. I got them in this deeper chocolatey brown color. I thought that would be a nice contrast with this neutral beige. Um, they are high-waisted and a flare bottom. They, they didn't like touch the ground so much that I'd be stepping on them. So I, I could still wear sandals with these, but also they have great stretch to them. So if you're taller, I don't think you need to worry about sizing up for length either. I got these in a size medium and they are only $12.99. Okay, for this last item, in my opinion, this is gonna be like the most trendy one. Um, it's like a throwback trend. It's kind of 90s and it is this, just this plain crop rib knit t-shirt. Um, it does have functioning buttons all the way down. However, I got this in a size large because it looked so cropped, um, but I think a medium would have been better for me because it was just kind of falling off a little bit at the shoulders. It is this scoop neckline, so it goes down kind of low. Um, as I said, I got this in a size large and it was only $9.99. And I paired that with these 90s straight high waist full length jeans. Now I got these originally in a size eight and I could not button them. So I got them in the size 10 and it was a much better fit around my waist. However, they were very long and I know that maybe that's intentional because that's part of the baggy jean style. Um, but I don't, I don't want to be stepping on my jeans. So I did cuff them up a little bit. I'm really torn on this style because I appreciate that these are still flattering through the hips and then they flare out towards the bottom. Um, that always worries me about the baggy jean style is that it just totally makes you lose your shape, but these do still provide a little shape for you while being trendy at the same time. Um, but I don't know. They're just so baggy. I don't, I, I, I'm a millennial that is stuck in my skinny jean ways. So you let me know what you think about this style. What do you think? Should I keep these or return them? These are a button fly. They are in this uh, light wash. That is what I was able to pick up in store. They do not have any distressing, which I liked. Um, they are also part of H&M's Conscious line. And as I said, I got these in a size 10 and they were $34.99. Okay, that is going to do it for this week's try on haul. Let me know in the comments what your favorite outfit was, what your least favorite was, what you think I should keep, what should I return. Let me know what store you would like me to do next. I have stuff from Walmart that I'm waiting to film and Kohl's as well. So let me know which one you would rather see first. I post these try on hauls every single Thursday on my channel. So if this was helpful for you in any way, or if you want to continue to see the different stores that I try out, then I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe and to see you in my next one. Bye.